Hello everyone, Pete here, and the much anticipated AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1 update is now officially here for the RG Ally and Ally X. Let's go through the five main improvements, how to update it, and a warning message about it. Plus we'll test out two games with this new 2.1 update on against the old 2.0 version and also no fluid motion frames on at all to see how much of an improvement there is with this new 2.1 update. So in case you're new to this, AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 or AFMF2 for short, is fancy frame generation tech designed to increase frame rates and smoothness across thousands of games. The five key improvements this 2.1 update promises are new optimizations, tunable settings for a better experience, AI optimizations for improved quality, lower latency, and just an overall better performance. AMD highlights three particular improvements to image quality with this 2.1 update, which are reduced ghosting, which is very welcome, something called fine feature restoration, and also overlay handling. So let's now update to AFMF 2.1. So let's open Armory Crate, head to the update center within settings, click on check for updates. And we can actually see here that this new 2.1 update is not available within Armory Crate, at least at the time of recording. Instead, from our start menu, let's head to the My Asus app and launch it from here. Head to the System Update section, click on the blue check for updates button, and this new AFMF2 update is part of this AMD Graphics Driver update, which has the number 9000 at the end. Then simply click the blue Update Selected Items button to update. Okay, so you can tell that it's dark now as I've just recorded footage for the two games on the current AFMF 2.0 version to test against this new 2.1 update. So I'm gonna hit that blue update button now and it took me about 20 minutes to update and I would recommend plugging in to do this. After it's finished updating and our ally restarts, I would recommend going back into the My Asus app and if the AFMF 2.1 update installation was successful, then there should be no further update showing. We can also double check in the gaming and graphics section in the AMD app, as it should now state AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1, as we can see right here. So word of warning and that there are early reports online of my favorite ever game in The Last of Us Part 2, immediately crashing upon launch using this new 2.1 update. So if you're currently in the middle of playing this, then yeah, it may just be worth holding off updating to this new AFMF 2.1 until they can patch this. Let's launch the first game to test this, which is The Witcher 3. I'm plugged in on 30 watts turbo to get the most FPS possible. Let's head into the AMD app, into the performance tab, then the overlay section on the right, and enable this metrics overlay, as the command center FPS monitor is inaccurate when it comes to AFMF2. So in the gaming tab, we can see that AFMF is not on, and in the game on the default settings with no AFMF, we're getting just around the 60 FPS mark and it's at 1080p and it does look really decent. In the AMD app, let's now enable AFMF 2.0 with anti-lag. For AFMF 2, we need to be in full screen or borderless full screen and also turn VSync off. And wow, we're now hitting around the 100 FPS mark with AFMF 2.0. It does look great, but to me, there is just some weird warping from time to time, and I just don't know whether AFMF 2.0 is the best way to play this. So I've just updated to AFMF 2.1. Let's launch the game. I have this new 2.1 update enabled in the AMD app, and wow, to my eyes, we're seemingly getting around five to 10 FPS more on this new update, which is awesome. I'd love to hear your thoughts and what you think, but for me, it does appear to look visually slightly better. When I do quite a bit of a spin around super fast, there does appear to be some slight decrease in lag. And that weird ghosting effect on faces that drives us insane doesn't appear to be here in this 2.1 update, which is really nice. And now let's try out the epic Resident Evil Village. We have AFMF set to off. We're again on third spot plugged in turbo for optimal FPS at 1080p on default graphic settings. And we're getting the mid to high 50s, but this does look fantastic with no weird graphical imperfections when not using any AFMF. And now let's enable AFMF version 2.0. We're on full screen at 1080p. VSync needs to be off for any AFMF. And when I went straight back into the game, then it didn't appear that any AFMF was kicking in at all, as there were no jumps in FPS. I restarted the game, but still nothing. I checked in the AMD app and AFMF 2.0 was enabled, 
but still there was no boost to FPS. In the gaming and graphics part in the AMD app, AFMF2 was showing as enabled, I went over to performance, then went back to gaming, AFMF2.0 was now showing disabled, so I put it back on, and this did finally work, as back in the game, it was now hitting the mid 90s and even around the 100 FPS on AFMF2.0. Now this could be me, and I'd love to hear your experience with AFMF2.0 in the comments, but there are some noticeable graphical imperfections and weird warping stuff happening. That for me just breaks the immersion of being in the game. Okay, so I've just updated to the 2.1 update, so let's launch the game again. The gaming section of the AMD app have put this new 2.1 update on along with Antilag. And in terms of FPS, I think it was roughly the same as 2.0, which was the mid 90s and early 100s. But to me, like again, appears to be very slightly less. And even more noticeable is there now seems to be much less weird graphic imperfections going on. Stuff like no weird head ghosting again, and the gates this time feel like a huge graphical improvement over the old AFMF 2.0. So early impressions are that this 2.1 update really does seem quite a bit of a sizable upgrade. And if you perhaps weren't too impressed with 2.0, then I really would recommend you giving this another shot. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this new 2.1 update, especially over these first few days and weeks as we try it out with many different games. So let us know your thoughts on this below in the comments. Like if this helped you and get subscribed to be among the very first to watch these breaking update videos. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Just a reminder that there's literally a version of you 10 years from now looking back and begging for you to slow down, breathe and enjoy your right now a little more. Man, this is the biggest thing that I personally struggle with, which is to live in the present, to enjoy each and every moment in the business of life. It's so incredibly hard to do this, but time is so precious. And let's do our very best to breathe and just enjoy it. So stay encouraged today, guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat, and her name is Pancake. And if you enjoyed today's video, then check out my optimization guide for one of the hottest Game Pass games right now, which is the incredible Claire Obscure Expedition 33 right here. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.